Hello, I am Sianja Rioja, your English teacher, and today we are going to start the digital lesson. Today, we are going to talk about the geologic eras. Here, we can check how the organism survives to environmental changes, if they adapt or if they have to mutate in order to survive, which is in fact called the evolution. We are going to start Precambrian era. It starts with the beginning of the Earth, being the longest of the four periods. Fewers, organisms and adaptations occur at this era. Most of the organisms were bacteria, later single cell. At the end of this era, most complex organisms appear. Paleozoic era. Here the plants become more complex. Most of the plants were conifers. The animals, in fact, were very scarce, but the oceans were crowded with many invertebrate animals. Finally, amphibians were developed after some fish evolution, allowing them to breathe but still needing water to reproduce. They indeed evolved to reptiles, finally living on land. But these reptiles, at the end of this era, disappeared. Mesozoic era. During Mesozoic era, most of the vertebrates were reptiles, especially dinosaurs. At this era, the first birds and mammals appeared. The evidence shows that most of large animals were endotherms, which means that they can keep and produce their own heat, and reptiles were ectotherms, which means that they need the sun to obtain heat. At the end of this stage, most of the dinosaurs disappeared because of environmental changes. And finally, Cenozoic era. At this era, angiosperms were the dominant plants. In fact, today they are the dominant plants. The decline of reptiles allowed mammals to evolve, becoming the dominant animals in Cenozoic era. They adapt to include marine forms, underground forms, flying forms, or running forms. Here, we can check most of the mammal evolution. Thanks for watching the video and remember to do the activities.